Safe Working Procedure, Tools and Instruments Safety Precautions While Working in the Engine Room There can be different types of hazards one can face while working in the engine room. These hazards are mentioned below. Mechanical A moving object hitting a person and causing injury. Electrical One can come in contact with live electrical circuit and get electrocuted. Thermal Coming in contact with extreme hot or cold objects causing hot or cold bumps. Chemical Contact with corrosive and poisonous chemical can cause bumps and allergies. Inhalation Inhalation asphyxiating and toxic gases can lead to sudden loss of consciousness and death. Noise and vibration is injurious to human health. The appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, when worn correctly provides a barrier between the hazard and the body, preventing serious injuries. Code of Safe Working Practices for Merchant Seafarers may be referred to Before any repair or maintenance work is commenced, care should be taken to ensure that all measures and precautions necessary for the safety of those concerned have been taken. No maintenance work or repair which might affect the supply of water to the fire main or sprinkler. System should be started without the prior permission of the master and chief engineer. No alarm system should be isolated without the permission of the chief engineer. Before machinery is serviced or repaired, measures should be taken to prevent turning or inadvertent. Starting as may occur with automatic or remote control systems. Electrically operated machinery should be isolated from the power supply. Steam operated machinery should have both steam and exhaust valves securely closed. And where possible locked off. In all cases, warning notices should be posted at or near the controls giving warning. That the machinery concerned is not to be used. When valves or filter covers have to be removed or similar operations have to be performed on pressurized systems, that part of the system should be isolated by closing the appropriate valves. Drain corks should be opened to ensure that pressure is off the system. Means of access to fire fighting equipment. Emergency escape routes. And watertight doors should never be obstructed. An approved safety lamp should always be used for illuminating spaces. Where oil or oil vapor is present. Vapor should be dispersed by ventilation before any work is commenced. 